Welcome to another Carmen's Banana Cooking. Tonight we have something special to you all the way from the Banana Room here at Carmen's Cabaret. We have some special guests for you. And our first special guest tonight is Mario. Mario, come on in. Yay. <laughs> Mario. Oh, sorry, Carmen. <laughs> I see you brought your own castanets with you. I brought my own bones. I got bones here. These are bones. Yeah, bones. Bones. How many times do you want me to say this? Bones. <laughs> they're bones. <laughs> oh, well, let me show you what they're about. I'll show you what they're about. They're incredible. These are bones. These are bones. Look at, watch. They're sticks. Ooh. Yeah, I could give you lessons, Carmen. If you... Gosh, I like that. <laughs> oh, That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. You look ravishing. Oh, well, ravished or ravishing? Maybe a little of both. Who knows? <laughs> Before the night's over, you'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know how bananas are. Well, listen, Mario, I'm going to let you get on with your act, nice. and let's give a big round of applause to Mario. Mario! Right. Talk about an overactive pineal, huh? That's great. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, you're not that impressed. All right, just a second, just a second here. Just, okay, just a second. You gotta have a little rhythm. Would you play these, please? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Have you done this before? No. Would you like to do it again? <laughs> It's a joke, folks. Come on, get with it. Let's go. Oh, good. Yeah. Acid just kicked in, right? <laughs> Bonk, hit me. <laughs> oh, that's great. I like it. Let's go. Keep going. Okay, here you 
play this. But you don't play. cut, cut, cut. Wait, wait, wait. Just cut, cut. You don't, you don't play. You don't, you don't play the horn. Really? What do you play? You don't play. Carmen, that wasn't in the contract. I don't uh -oh. know. Just saying. No, that's all right. It's all right. I, I've got a relapse. It's, it's, it's my ball routine. It's okay. It's, it's, uh, it's okay. It's, uh, things like that happen once in a while. I used to do this when I was a kid all the time. You know, it's no problem. I can handle it. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. <laughs> it was kind of like that was okay. I'll do it again. Just got someone past you. I think. Yeah. Okay. Still went past you. Okay. You guys really are on drugs, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Second here. It's just one ball juggling. One ball juggling. Try to get out. Now, see if you were playing, see what we'd have. <laughs> but no, no, <laughs> you had to be difficult. What's your name? Wait a minute, stop. What's your name? Sh Shelly. Shelly what? Shelly Harold. Shelly Harold. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Good. Oh, that was good. You're right on time, too. Two balls. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See, this is juggling with two balls. That's normal, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> two balls. Really have a social life? What's going on here? Okay, here we go. Three balls. Three balls. <laughs> That's pretty hot, huh? <laughs> pretty not hot. Yeah, okay. Well, this is juggling. Okay, here's two, one, two, three. I learned how to juggle a long time ago. Let's see, it was a long time ago. I was five. And, uh, I was at home. I was in my room playing with my pillow. <laughs> and uh, I thought, I wonder if there's anything else I could do with my life, you know, here, now that I'm five. You know, it isn't often you reach that age. So pretty soon I had a birthday and I was six. You guys are real excited about this story, aren't you? It's just like something you've never heard before. See, so I started juggling when I was seven. I was getting older by the day. And uh, by the time I was eight, I reached the age of reason. And I had a reason for what I did, see? So I became nine. That was my next thing. To do. Did I do this one before? You guys really are drunk, aren't you? <laughs> no idea. I'm just watching this stuff. This guy's got his balls in his hand, and he's juggling. He's throwing them up in the air, and he's doing these tricks. And sometimes he talks to us, and occasionally he makes sense. But if my name is Shelly, I don't participate, and that's it. <laughs> you can just forget it. You know what I'm saying, Shelly? Yeah, it's just part of the deal. So, Shelly, what do you do for a living? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Bet you do that real well, too, huh, Shelly? Pretty hot job you got there. What do you do, Shelly? Oh. Let's see. Went to A&M for a while. Became a mime. Just did the wall all over. When I got to a and I did it like this. They didn't get it either, so I don't have to worry about that one anymore. Guy over here was caressing himself. I can't believe it. Yeah, OK. <laughs> That's all right. I got more where they came from. <laughs> this is incredible. I've never seen these balls go for this long. Yeah, let's see here. <laughs> They're trained. They're supposed to miss three times. They do it four times. See, that's for by the time I reach Phoenix, 
she'll be rising <laughs> or raising. You're not a hard crowd, but you could crowd a little harder and make things easier for me. <laughs> Is that, oh, God, proving once again that people will clap for absolutely nothing. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll be back in a little bit. Carmen. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. And now, let's go to the Banana Bureau. This is Chet Banana from the Banana Bureau. To quickly ripen an avocado, put them in a bag with a banana. The gases from the banana hastens the ripening of the avocado. Believe it or not. Thank you, Chet Banana from the Banana Bureau. And now we have Mario coming back. Let's give a big round of applause for Mario again. Yay! Woo! And Mario's going to do some. What are you going to do for us now, Mario? Well, I'm going to do a little uh, Professor Orlando P. Farquhar and uh, roll these scarves and do some things and take a few questions and answers from the audience. Great. Okay. Well, see, you, Mario. See, uh, I've been working on this one. This one I learned in New York City one day. I was just hanging out there, and and it happened. It's like real magic, you know. It's like it's like you can't believe it. Anybody curious about how that's done? Anybody, nobody cares, really, do they? <laughs> Life is like that sometimes. You know, you, you, just, you just don't, uh, lady over here reads books all day and everything, and you just sit there with your, your arms crossed, and, you, and you, Shelly doesn't have a job and can't get a husband, and what do you guys do over here? I should, I should start asking some questions of everybody over here, find out what's really going on. What are you doing, lady? What are you do You've been reading that book all during my show. What is, what is the nature of that book? Can you, can you tell me what that's about? It's uh, cultural literacy, what every American needs to know. I guess I'm an American. I qualify. What do you got in that book, anyway? Well, what, what, what is that about? There's an index. So you yeah, why don't you hold the mic over there? Would you hold the mic for her over there? I got one on here, so just there's, go ahead and fire a, a question there's at There's an me index and, that lists everything that... I'll speak that into the stand. ...literate there. Americans need to know. I, I, don't, I don't know if you qualify or not. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> okay, well, you want to try that one mic of these away questions? From you. You don't, do I want to try one of those questions? Yeah. Well, I, if, you got, if you can ask a question, sure, of course. What is okay. your name, by the way, anyway? Who, who are you, anyway? I'm who, Francoise. Francoise. <laughs> that's plural for one. <laughs> she could have been two, but... Close your mouth. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of wide gap there. <laughs> this is television. Yeah. <laughs> it's life. How you doing, Shelley? You doing all right? <laughs> you want to speak into the mic stand? <laughs> you want to see this one again? <laughs> See, it works every time. <laughs> Reminds me of my youth. <laughs> sort of. Go ahead. Uh, okay, go ahead, you want to uh, answer one of these questions? Do I, uh, I, I mean, haven't heard the question yet. We can, we can wait for years for you to ask a question. Well, you know? okay, what was the Scopes trial? Scopes trial? Anybody knows that. That, that was the first uh, test of the, of the mouthwash department in, uh, at Harvard University. It was years ago. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, we'll try this one. What, what does the expression... It's a scarf juggling, Carmen. <laughs> What does the expression, let them eat cake, mean? Let them eat cake? <laughs> that means that everybody, what do you mean? There's nothing else left. <laughs> That's what it means. Now, these are great questions. Where are you getting these? Marie Antoinette said that. Everybody knows that let them eat cake means uh, that comes from wean. Do you have a real question there, lady? Yeah, what is a, what's a banana republic? That's a cigar. Everybody knows that. That's, that's a cigar. <laughs> no, that's, that's Carmen's home. Everybody knows that. That's where Carmen lives in the banana. I'll just scarf them up here. Why don't you just go ahead and take your time, lady, here? We got all day. What was the Battle of the Bulge? Well, that was Sears, Sears department store, the women's department, selling lingerie. Everybody knows that. God, I can't believe you didn't know that one. This is scarf juggling, by the way. Thought you'd like to see this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know. The audience showed up tonight. It's great. <laughs> do you have another question, lady, or am yeah, I going to yeah, sit here the, and do these the stupid Peter scarves principle? all night? This is kind of like muff diving in the Virgin Isles, you know. <laughs> well, thank you very much. What's your name, by the way? Sheila. Sheila. Do you know Shelley? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Are you married to her husband, too? <laughs> Go ahead, lady. Fire another car. I feel real intelligent now. I'd... What's the Peter principle? Oh, I beg your pardon? Do <laughs> <laughs> we have the next question? <laughs> What's the Peter principle? Well, What's that's it? biblical. Yeah. That's one of the 12 apostles. That, that, that was Peter coming up with the principle of the first church. Okay, His principles. What's a U-boat? That's a U-boat, ma'am. <laughs> it ain't my boat, it's U-boat. <laughs> what are you talking about? One more question. I'm getting tired of these questions. I'll tell you, I can't take many more of these. My cultural literacy is expanding quite well, far. What was the divine comedy? Does that answer suffice? <laughs> The Divine Comedy. The Divine Comedy. The Divine Comedy. I don't know. Amen. Now, while Mario is preparing for his next number, and now let's go to the Yellow Grocer. Hi, here we are at the Crossroads Shopping Center at the Whole Foods Store in the Produce Department, and today's yellow grocer is Robbie. Hi, Carney. How are you? Oh, real good. Well, you just got all festive, didn't you? Yes, I shaved this morning, and I'm feeling quite trim. Well, you're looking great. Well, now, what kind of bananas are in the marketplace today? Okay. I, hope you, I hope you haven't eaten them all. Oh, I try to save a few for you humans, but we got to eat some, and you got to eat some, too. Today we got finger bananas. Let's Ooh, find them. Here they are, right here. I see My them. eyesight's getting terrible now. I'm getting older. You're gonna have to start eating more bananas. Isn't yes, that good? yes, that and carrots, even though I hate them. Okay. Today we have finger bananas. These little beauties are the sweetest banana you can have. They are really good. They're commercially grown down in Mexico. And when they're ripe, they get also like the organic. They turn a little bit black, but also yellow. Uh -huh. But you will never have a sweeter banana than this, Carmi. Well, why don't you peel one of those for me and see if I can, is, is there one ready to eat? Let's, let me look here. Okay, let me be looking at this. See, here, these are all mostly green and with a little bit of yellow in them. Listen, if he can't find the perfect banana, no one can. Now show <laughs> us, why, why did you pick that as the, the perfect banana? It's kind of spotted and has a little yellow, but this should be good. Great. <laughs> Here, oh, Carmi. Mm. Woo! Oh, it's boy. a little one, though. Oh, no, I'll, I'll Have another bite. Mm. I don't care what size it is. I like it. <laughs> no, wait. No, wait. I got to try now some. Now you got to try it. Mm -hmm. mm, Only banana delicious. to buy right mm. here. Really, the this little is thing it. of bananas. Well, listen, Robbie, thanks for coming in today and being... Uh, today's yellow grocer. Thank you, Carmi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, yellow grocer. And now we have Mario coming on with another juggling act. Let's give a big round of applause to Mario. Yay. He's the yellow grocer of Texas. He's grocer than can be. How you doing, folks? Coming back, huh? Well, <laughs> you're still here. You're new and God people. Well, what's, how are you doing there? What's happening? How are you doing? I'm fine. I asked you first, though. <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> well, I got a new instrument here. I thought you'd like to see this. I'm going to play my favorite song on it. Maybe it'll become your favorite song. <laughs> then it'll become our favorite song. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know if I can play. <laughs> I forgot the song. I forgot. You remember how it goes? <laughs> I wrote this song. I just want you to know I, I wrote this. Let's see, how did it go? Let's see. No, I didn't write that one. It's the other one I wrote that comes after this. <laughs> Maybe I better just juggle. <laughs> this is great, I like this. Can I have a little rhythm there? You are a Catholic, aren't you?
great. You stopped right on right on time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Professor Banana, what tips do you have from the kitchen? Hello, this is Professor Banana. Many of you have looked at these physics things that I have shown you and trying to explain to you how important physics is and you don't believe it. So, I will show you how you can use this physics in the kitchen. I have a laser here. I have a banana here. I am going to show you how you can use this handy dandy laser to slice this banana without cutting the peel. <clears throat> Are you ready? <clears throat> you notice I'm having to make noise for this because lasers are very silent and I know that you are all interested in noisy demonstrations. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, now, you see, there is nothing that you can see on the outside, so I'm going to peel this banana, and you will notice that it is now in sections. You see, it's a laser banana slicer. Now, if you want to buy one of those, you just write in this station in care of Carmen. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Okay, folks, welcome back to Carmen's Cabaret. We have one more act tonight, and for the final act, I'm going to show you, Mario is going to show you how he is going to be a one-man band. So let's give Mario a big round of applause. Yay! Yay. Stuff. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Right. <laughs> 
Okay, wait, wait, I point you, I point you, when I point you, then you play it. When I point you, yeah, like, like we did so good. You're, you're so good, you're so good. All right, hit it. And, oh, that's real good, yeah, that's good. See, that's a nice, yeah. Okay, ready? What's your name? Pete. Pete what? Pete Barnes. Pete Barnes. You know this guy? Yeah. This is No, Dr. No. I met him. You met him. Yeah. So you know him. I've often used his name. You've often used, he's often used his name. <laughs> and your name is? Sheila. Sheila Bob. OK, Sheila Bob, No Bob, and uh, Pete Barnes here. OK, Sheila. one, two, one, two. We got to get a little closer. Almost perfect. Okay, try this one, try this one. I think this will work a little better, okay? Yeah, you ready? He's examining it. Just uh, go ahead and blow it. Either one. Yeah, that one will do fine, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're doing real good. You see, it's good. How about a big hand for her, huh? Yeah. Yeah. How about a big hand for him, huh? Yeah. How about a big hand for him, huh? Yeah. How about a big hand for me? Yeah. He plays a little too good, I think. One, two, one, two. Carmen's Cabaret, Cabaret huh? yes. yeah. and you're, you're, you're the initiator of the whole thing. I want it's to been welcome done you. now. Huh? It's been done. It's pretty hot stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. really, really. So listen, thanks a lot. Let's give Mario one more, more one more, yeah, one more. Let's give him another one. Let's give him another one. Come on. Hey, thanks, Mario. Thanks a lot, Carmen. Yeah. Hey, listen, I got to go now. I got to go. Okay, thanks, Mario. And listen, folks, join us next Friday night and every Friday night for an epi another episode of your favorite cooking show, Carmen's Banana Cooking. Goodbye! If you want to join us at Carmen's Cabaret, write for tickets at the address at the end of the show. If you want to join us at Carmen's Cabaret, write for tickets at the address at the end of the show.